All right, put on your dancing shoes because the Rainbow Wahine basketball team is back in the NCAA tournament for the second straight year. Coincidence? I think not. Head coach Laura Beeman has the girls peaking at the right time after winning their conference championship and will take on LSU in the first round tomorrow. And joining us this morning from Baton Rouge, Louisiana, is head coach Laura Beeman. Good morning, coach. Thanks for joining us this morning. Appreciate it. Oh, good morning. Thank you for letting me interrupt your uh, wonderful morning. <laughs> now, first off, how's your team feeling? I know you had a long day of travel, but are they loosey-goosey, nervous, excited for tomorrow's big game? You know, our travel wasn't terrible. We stayed in Henderson, so we were able to go from Nevada, quick layover in Texas and on to Louisiana. So we've had, a, this is our second day here, um, able to get acclimated. You know, I definitely think there's a, a level of tension. They, they know what's ahead of them, a little David and Goliath. Um, but I think tomorrow we'll be ready to go, and they're excited to be here. You know, this is just a huge tribute to how hard they've played all season long and their resiliency and their never-give-up attitude. You talk about that resiliency. Your team has persevered through so many injuries. Let me ask you this. What made you decide to fly your injured players to Nevada right before the championship? They're part of this team. They're part of our Ohana. Uh, you know, it was really difficult to have them along the entire time just because of the length at which we were on the road. But to have them show up on that red eye and the girls to be able to see them that morning and then everyone walk through the band and cheer. You know, before we went and played that championship game, I really think it was just an emotional boost. Uh, I know I got a lump in my throat watching those kids go through the band and the cheer. Uh, that's where they belonged. And to get us all back together was really important for us. Now, Coach, you talked about how LSU presents a huge challenge, but do you get a sense that your team, I know you said some tension, but maybe feeling a little more comfortable and confident since some of them have that tournament experience from last year? You know, I think experience is the best teacher, uh, you know, and to have some kids that have been here before in a position where we're playing kind of, like I said earlier, that Goliath opponent, I think is really important. Bottom line, we have to show up tomorrow. You know, I think for Lily and Amani, the two that have not been here, I think they're excited. I think they're feeling the energy and the vibe of the other girls. Uh, bottom line, we have to show up tomorrow and play really good basketball. I know they will have effort. I know they will have focus. I know they'll have the energy that got us here. Um, and I think after the tip goes, you know, goes up. Um, we're going to be playing in front of a sold out crowd, which will be a great environment for us. I think everyone will be ready to play. Now, coach, we all know that Cinderella always makes an appearance at the big dance. You talked about that David versus Goliath mentality and matchup against LSU, who are favored by 29 points. What's your <laughs> message to the team in terms of how to approach it as well as handling the pressure? we have nothing to lose and i think at times that gives teams we call it scout mentality where you just show up and you just play you know we're not supposed to win this game we know that what we want to do is represent well we want to have great attitudes so if cinderella wants to make an appearance tomorrow at 4 30 at lsu uh, i will i will accept that invitation well i will welcome her definitely <laughs> and talk about the biggest challenge with lsu because they have an all-american angel reese you know, she's a phenomenal player. Um, she is an All-American for a reason. She is a double and a triple team threat for most opponents all the time. Um, she does what she does. She's a pro. She will go in the first round, in my opinion, to the WNBA. They also have a guard that's tremendous. I think our biggest challenges besides some of their personnel is going to be their transition. They push the ball incredibly well. Um, at 6'4", Angel can lead their break, which is challenging. And then offensive boards. You know, she is, like I said, a double or a triple team at times because of what she can do all the, on the offensive glass. So we have our hands full with her alone. Uh, but their schemes and what they do as a team is also challenging. Um, we have to be ready to play tomorrow. So it's the Rainbow Wahine versus LSU tomorrow. Tip-off set for 4.30 local time, 11.30 a.m. here in Hawaii. Best of luck, Coach, and just know that the entire state, the entire 808 state is cheering on for the Rainbow Wahine. Uh, we appreciate that, and that's why we love where we live and love where we play. So aloha to everybody and mahalo. All right. Thank you very much, Coach. You have a great day. Thank you.